We've got a sample here in the MinSept lab that we've processed. We've done heavy liquid on the sample. Bronze magnetic separator has been used to get rid of the magnetic materials, but the sample is still cluttered with what appears to be barite and other soft minerals. So what we're going to do is wiggle bug the sample and get rid of and pulverize the softer minerals to extract the zircons. These are the items that I use when I'm putting together the wiggle bug to put in the wiggle bug shaker. We need tweezers, a tri-corner beaker, plexiglass with a hole cut in it. We need two cylinders like so. And in between the cylinders, we're going to put some 20 micron opening nylon mesh. The next item is the titanium capsule. Now the capsule is going to have an O-ring inside. The reason for that O-ring is because when the barite and other soft minerals are pulverized, they will in effect cement the cap to the titanium capsule, requiring pliers and a couple of horses in order to get them out. So we're going to put the we're going to put the O-ring in there so that doesn't happen. Next, we're going to take the sample and we're going to pour the sample into the uh, that's a little too much so we're going to pour it back and we want to make sure that the amount of the sample and the acrylic BBs do not exceed 50 percent of the volume of the capsule otherwise the BBs will not have the opportunity to do their work and now we're going to get about eight BBs place them in the capsule, close it, and now we're going to put a little tape and at this point I'm going to cover up the acrylic BBs because I don't want to chase them all over the room if I knock it over. Now that we have the capsule intact we're going to open up the wiggle bug shaker and we are going to place the capsule in. Now in order to make sure that this does not leave the capsule or leave the, I should say, the wiggle bug shaker, we're going to tape that in like so. Now we're going to turn it on and for the amount of sample that we have in here, we'll run it about, uh, we'll run it at nine minutes and we'll see what happens after that. We may have to do more, we'll have to play it by ear. So here we go. Now. If we open this up, you can see what's happening. Now at this point in time, the acrylic BBs are pulverizing the barite and the other soft minerals that are in this sample. Now that the capsule has been in the wiggle bug shaker for nine minutes, we've removed it. We're going to remove the tape. We're going to put some isopropanol in the capsule and whenever the capsule is open and the sample is not secured we want to make sure that we're holding it over the 20 micron sieve in case it spills out we collect it put it back in the wiggle bug shaker for about another four or five minutes now that we've run the sample for five minutes with the isopropanol in it we're going to take the tape off carefully, making sure that we hold the sample over the sieve. We're going to open it up and now we're going to rinse the sample and the acrylic BBs into the sieve. And once that's done, we're going to rinse with acetone. Now for filming purposes, we're using acetone outside of the fume hood, but when you're doing this procedure using acetone, you must always be under the fume hood.
Now that we've got the sample in the sieve, remove the O-ring with the tweezers. Rinse it so that all the grains are now off. Next, use the tweezers and remove the BBs one at a time and rinse those so that all the grains are in the sieve. Now the sample is still drying, not quite dry yet. This particular sample had uh, a tremendous amount of barite and what's going to have to happen now that once this is dry we will run it through the wiggle bug a second time and if it's necessary, if all the uh, barite is not gone or the other uh, soft minerals, we'll run it through a third time, whatever's necessary to get rid of all of the clutter or the extraneous minerals that we do not want in the sample. I've transferred the sample now that it's dried and we've done it, run it through the wiggle bug exactly two more times, so a total of three. And as you can see, we are down to the point where we now have nothing but zircon in here, pure zircon, no other uh, minerals uh, that can be detected. So at this point in time, we are now going to put the sample into a snap cap vial so that it's contained and then we are going to properly make notation on the capsule uh, on the vial uh, so that everybody knows what has been uh, what procedures have been performed on this sample and then it will go up to our upstairs called picking room where it will be prepared for mounting there are two warnings. If your sample has both barite and pyrite, it is essential for the pyrite to be acid washed out of the sample prior to wiggle bugging. The pyrite will erode the zircon grains otherwise. The other uh, warning is with regard to time. If you're wiggle bugging, it should be done at a maximum 10 minutes and then five minutes with some isopropanol. If you want additional information about the Wigglebug equipment uh, and supplies, you can click here.